Hey friends, welcome. My name is Missy. Thank you so much for watching this video today and stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. This is going to be an antique with me and it was a spendy day here at the Walnut Creek Antique Mall in Walnut Creek, Ohio. I actually recorded this on Saturday, February the 12th. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video. I will share my haul with you and like I said, it was a spendy day so you don't want to miss it and I will be styling all of the pieces for you. So so, so much fun to look forward to coming up, and I'm really excited. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever visited this antique mall. I actually love this antique mall. It is not overwhelming. I think some of them can get so big that you can just get lost and overwhelmed and then end up just walking out with nothing. So this one I think is perfect. It is one story. It is very clean. The service is great. They are always so friendly and helpful and I really think they have some great varieties and some great prices. If you have been following us for a little while now, you know that in every video this year, we are doing what we call a commenter shout out, and we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And I do apologize if I pronounce your name incorrectly, but our commenter shout out today is Meg Fuelheart, and her comment was, I love the videos, Missy. I really liked that basket weave mug. I'm going to decorate for spring first and then Easter towards the start of April. I can't wait to see what what you do. Your style inspires me. Thank you so much, Meg. You inspire me. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of our family here at Ohio Vintage Home. Just how adorable are these little Courier and Ives salt and pepper shakers? I have never seen them. It was unfortunate that the plugs were not in the bottom, but they were just really, really cute. I have never seen them before. I've seen a lot of Courier and Ives, but not these salt and pepper shakers, and they were $12. Dollars and then here is a beautiful Fiesta mug for $4. I thought that was a really great price. spotted some Pyrex right there and I hope that you are ready to see some Pyrex because I saw lots of beautiful pieces today and you will have to stick around until the end of the video to see which one or ones I ultimately decided to pick up. I cannot wait to share with you. So right now while I am doing this voiceover, it is Sunday evening about 8 p.m. and the boys are watching the Super Bowl. They do have it on mute for me so I can do my voiceover, but let me know. So are you rooting for the Bengals, for the Rams? Who were you wanting to win? Were you happy with the outcome? You'll have to let me know down in the comments. We are rooting for the Bengals because we are from Ohio and so we want to vote not vote. <laughs> we want to root for the team here in Ohio. These right here were absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors on these, the greens and the yellow, that stoneware, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The 
If you could and you are enjoying this video, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so that you will always know when I put out videos. I would really appreciate it and it does really help my channel. Also, leave me a comment down below. That helps me out as well, but most of all, I love to hear from you. And if you comment, you have a chance to be the commenter who is shouted out in the next video. I was checking out this little granny square afghan for $18, thought it was really pretty. I did like those browns and oranges right there. Now some of the colors I didn't really care for, like the bright purples and the super bright blue, but I wanted to check that out because I think that would be really pretty, just kind of laying over a chair or on the back of a couch, if I could keep Luke off of it, but really, really pretty, probably on the back of a chair for us. This right here is such a beautiful booth and area, how she has everything set up here. And I was just really admiring how she had all of the greens out for spring coming up. I am so looking forward to spring. It is currently 18 degrees here again in Ohio, and I am ready for a warm up, that is for sure. But she always has such beautiful displays here, and she has lots of ironstone too, that you're going to see coming up here in just a little bit. Now these Right here I'm showing you I'm assuming she is buying these somewhere and just kind of reselling them but they are wonderful these kind of hot plates and pot holders they are $7.99 we have several of them and they work really really well and you do not have to worry about anything getting scratched on your table this basket was really pretty but I just do not want to spend that kind of money on baskets because I feel like I can find some baskets it's like this for great prices in the thrift stores. Here is that ironstone collection I was telling you she has. It is really amazing and she has pretty good prices on everything. I just was not looking for ironstone this day, but I did want to show it to you. Here is a look at a couple of the stamps on the ones on top. She had a price on this super big picture here. I think that is 28 because it had been cracked. This price right here though for 29 was pretty good, comparable. I think when I got my can like that that you have seen on my table, I think I got mine for around the 30-ish amount. That right there I thought was really pretty hanging out of there and I would love to do that, but my kitties say no, no, you cannot do that. <laughs>
As we are working on our bedroom this year, I'm keeping my eye out more for pieces to use in there. And I really thought this tray right here would be beautiful sitting on a vanity. So something like this is definitely something I'm keeping in mind and just kind of doing price comparing right now to get an idea. Hopefully I'll find one in one of the thrift stores, but we will see. Wasn't that pink there so pretty? Again, I am so ready for spring. I did like this wicker type basket here as well. It was $46.99 and again I really try to hold off on purchasing the baskets in the antique stores because I have had some luck finding them in the thrift stores. I wanted to give a huge shout out in this video to Cindy and Brenda. I was lucky enough to get to meet them in person on this day. We ran into each other in another store. Hubby was actually getting some coffee and it was just great. Thank you so much for saying hello. I absolutely loved meeting you and taking the picture and I'm so glad you don't mind if I share it here. Thank you so very much for all of your kind words. You were both so sweet and I just was so happy to meet you. Thank you so much. I don't decorate with fruit or anything in my home, but I did think that this chalkware piece right here was in really, really excellent shape. It was $19.99 from the 1950s, so really, really cool to see. This Tupperware canister set as well was up on top, and it seemed to be in really good shape as well. I think the price on it was $25. Sometimes it gets really hard for me to see because I am super short, and a lot of times these things are super high. They have vintage cats. That pink cereal canister right there was $100. Please tell me what this is. I, I'm not, I cannot tell what is written on there. I'm not sure why it is $100. I know there has to be a reason. So if you know, let me know down in the comments because I would be really curious to know. Here is another beautiful set of Pyrex for $60 in the early American pattern. So absolutely beautiful. Okay, we are getting super close now to the haul. I hope that you will stick around, see what I got, and I'm going to be styling all of the pieces for you. Hey friends, welcome to the haul part of this video and be sure you stay tuned until the end because I will be styling these pieces for you as well, showing you how I am using them in my home. But first of all, it is Valentine's Day and I wanted to say a very happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Before we get into my first new piece today, I wanted to go ahead and share just some quick, quick, quick background information for you as to why I bought this piece today. 
And it is because a while back I picked up this bowl right here. I do not think I ever showed this in a haul because it was a quick trip into the thrift store and a quick trip out. But I did get this for $2. And this is a Blossom Time Pattern Ironstone by J and G Meekin. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's the only piece I have ever seen. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this today. Also, along with this piece of Pyrex that hubby just got for me for $10. Again, didn't record shopping or a haul or anything like that because he just picked this up for me. He got it for $10 and it is this gorgeous gravy boat in a very similar pattern. So let me go ahead and show you those beside each other. So this is the Ironstone and then the Pyrex, but aren't those so similar? Okay, so that leads me to the new piece that I picked up today and it matches my bowl, but I think all of these are going to go together so well. And it is this little creamer in that same pattern for $10. It is so beautiful. I was so happy to find it because I have not seen any other pieces in this pattern. Just absolutely stunning. Was happy to find that today to go with that set for 10 this was a bit of a spendy day today, so I hope that you are ready for this haul because I have some really awesome favorite pieces coming up here in just a second. But I love, love, love this find because not only is it a fairy light, we got this fairy light for $6 because it said it was as is. Now I shared on my Instagram, if you don't follow me there, it is Ohio Vintage Home, I would love to have you, that we had to look and look and look to find the imperfection. And to get this fairy light for $6 was incredible. It is this gorgeous amber fairy light. So beautiful. I will share the picture of where I shared it on Instagram. And then I'm going to show you the imperfection. It is so hard to see it. You really have to look at it a certain way. And I may not even be able to get it to come across here on the camera, but I am going to try. So it is up there on the top and it is kind of right here and it's just a little difference in how the glass rolled over so no crack or anything like that that is the imperfection we were able to get this for six dollars now one more item here before we get into the two big items that I got today. So happy Valentine's Day to me. I got this adorable set of postcards from the early 1900s for just a couple of dollars. They did take the tag off, but I believe maybe they were like $2.75 or something like that. And I love having these to put in my flower frogs. So I will show you how I'm going to be using it, even though I haven't decorated for spring or Easter yet. But look at how adorable, and we are getting chickens this year, so I am drawn to anything with the chickens. Look at the little sentiment there. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I love that. And again, here it says it's from the early 1900s, and I believe that is like a vase of flowers and some colored eggs, and it says Easter greetings. So it was a pack of two, but I just think, the writing here on the back of this one here with the chickens. I love that sentiment about these older postcards. Okay, are you ready for the spendy pieces? And the first one that I have here and really, really thought about them. And the first piece that I got, I already have some greenery and some tulips in here. They still have the tags on them, but this gorgeous piece of stoneware, it is so heavy, so gorgeous, goes perfect with the colors in my kitchen. Look at how stunning that is. Let me see if I can show you the bottom. It's just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors on this. Isn't that just gorgeous? I absolutely love this. And then the last thing that I have to show you before we go into styling is a set of Pyrex and I looked and looked at so many different sets. I did decide to go ahead and go with this one because it was $60, which broke down to about $15 per bowl, which I thought was a good deal after I had looked at several different places. And it is this set of the early American Pyrex and I love this. Let me go ahead and get these out for you. This is the smallest bowl and it is one in the white with the brown detailing. 
and I just love this design. Just love it. So that is the first one. And then there's kind of what it looks like. These are in really great shape. Logo on the bottom. And then the second one that stacks down is this one here. And this one is the one that is in the browns with the gold tones on them, like the gold foiling. Those box lights are really shining on there, but can you see that? And then down here, okay. So then I got that one. And then the next one down in the set, I'll just kind of show them to you real quickly because we're going to be styling them, is another one in the white with the brown. And then the bottom one on here is again back to the brown with the gold. And I have not cleaned any of these items yet. So stick around. I hope that you enjoyed this antique with me and this haul. And let's get right into the styling. Again, have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Okay, here's my shelf with my fairy lights, and I have now added my beautiful amber one. I love these. I love this color. It goes perfect with our home. So beautiful. And now coming over here to my hutch, I have added some greenery up here. I've got to take the tag off, but kind of moving in towards spring. But here is my green creamer, and I have it stacked up there along with my Pyrex piece up here in my hutch. And then moving over here, I have stacked up my beautiful Pyrex bowls. Now, this is not absolutely perfect, but I have stacked them up. And if you're wondering what I use to stack them, I am using rice. So I think they look absolutely gorgeous here in my hutch. I told you I would go ahead and show you my little postcard in my flower frog, even though I have not decorated for spring and Easter yet. And then coming down here, I'll try not to swing you around too fast. Bringing you over here to the table, I have my beautiful pitcher. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I've kind of just arranged the greenery on the inside added those white tulips kind of put them in there a little bit better i just had them shoved in there before and i just think this is going to be absolutely stunning for spring and summer